Hi, welcome to Kings in the Kitchen in my conservatory at the beginning of Refugee Week. Jesus said in answer to a question from the Sadducees, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is equally important. Love your neighbour as yourself. So I thought, as it is Refugee Week, we would try and answer that question. Who is my neighbour? On the Sunday morning online service at King's, we were introduced to this topic via the Good Samaritan story. And I'm going to read it for you again in Luke chapter 10. A Jewish man was travelling from Jerusalem down to Jericho and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up and left him half dead beside the road. By chance a priest came along, but when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. A temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. Then a despised Samaritan came along, and when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now which of these three would you say was a neighbour to the man who was attacked by bandits, Jesus asked. And the man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. In these last few days, I've been reading a new version devotion called Justice and Righteousness. I challenge you to take a look at this. Day one is the Bible Project presentation on this topic. Day two addresses why we care so passionately about justice as human beings. And day three talks to us about our responsibility. Our responsibility to live with justice and righteousness. Do you know if we want to be recognised as God's people, this is the foundation. I hope you'll take the challenge. I just want to leave you with a few verses. Two from the Old Testament and two from the New Testament that might help us to think about how we can do this. Live with justice and righteousness, loving our neighbour as ourselves. Jeremiah in chapter 22, in the first part of verse 3 says, This is what the Lord says. Be fair-minded and just. Do what is right. That's quite straightforward, isn't it? And there's a verse in Micah that I guarantee you've heard several times in your life. Micah chapter 6 verse 8 and the prophet says, No, O people, the Lord has told you what is good and this is what he requires of you, to do what is right, to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. I just want to point out that on both of those verses it's what the Lord says. It's not what I say, it's not what the pastor says, it's not what the prophet said, it's what the Lord says. And the other thing I noticed is that Micah uses that word requires again. This is required of you to do what is right. To jump to the New Testament, there's a verse you know extremely well um, in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. And it says, three things will last forever, faith, hope and love. And the greatest of these is love. And that's what Jesus told us to do. Love our neighbour as ourselves. And to close, I want to quote Jesus again in Matthew 7, verse 12. In some Bibles, this is called the golden rule. And this is what Jesus said. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. I don't want to add any of my words to those because I think it's quite clear. We've all got work to do on this, loving our neighbour.